and Molly are very interested in solving all these cases because they want to be famous detectives in the future or perhaps to become like Dr. G. Molly told Pepin that it's important to identify which foods contain carbohydrates and count them. so she can receive the correct amount of insulin she requires to process the glucose that will be produced when she eats. Pepin asked Molly if this involves adding, because he is not very good at adding. Molly has a list of the amount of carbohydrates or carbs that many foods contain. She knows that she can eat what she wants as long as it is healthy for her. But the most important part is that she needs to count the carbs. Pepin thought that he probably could not do this very well since he has problems with adding. Molly told him that actually it's not that complicated and they could do it together so he would understand how easy it is. Carbohydrates are divided into two groups, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates can be natural or processed. Natural simple carbs contain vitamins and minerals and are found in a natural form in fruits, milk products and vegetables. Processed simple carbohydrates or refined sugars are found in candy, table sugar, syrup, and sodas. Complex carbohydrates include fiber and starches. They can be found in vegetables, bread, rice, oatmeal, whole grains, peas, and beans. Molly asked Pepin if he was ready to plan her meal for tonight. He started by picking up for Molly a bag of candy, a cake, a soda, and if she's still hungry, maybe she can have some fruit with ice cream. Molly told Pepin that all of the foods he picked include carbs, and she could eat all of them, but she wants to have foods that help her to develop well. After all, she is a growing child. These foods are delicious, but they won't help her grow much. Molly and her mother have modified the way they ate before she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Molly's mother eats the same foods as Molly, trying to have a good balanced meal every time they eat. The important part is to determine the number of carbs in the meals. For that, it is important to control portions so she can consult her list. Pepin feels that he understands now that chicken is not a carbohydrate. So Molly can eat chicken and she does not need to add carbohydrates because chicken is a protein. But if she eats a chicken sandwich, she needs to add the carbs in the bread. If she puts cheese on the sandwich, it does not have many carbs, but she needs to add them. Now, if she adds lettuce, onions, and tomato, then she must add carbs for these three foods. If Molly has some vegetables on the side, then she needs to add those carbs. A piece of cake and ice cream both have carbs, so she needs to add them. All of this is necessary to find out the number of carbs that she is going to eat so she can receive enough insulin to process the glucose produced from her meal. Pepin feels that he has understood how to count the carbs with her list, but he wonders if Molly can go to the refrigerator and grab anything from there between meals. Can she drink a glass of milk, juice, water, 
or soda? Molly tells Pippin that she can have a glass of water. It has no carbohydrates, but milk, juice, and soda do. So if she chooses one of these, she needs insulin to process the glucose. So she needs another insulin injection. What about an apple or candy? Both have carbs, but she needs to make the smart and healthy choice, which would be the apple. Really? Thought Pepin. Why does she need to do that? Molly needs to understand that people with diabetes can eat everything they want, but they need to be smart about good, healthy choices. Because she knows she is smart, but she wants to be healthy and smart. Pepin and Molly are ready for dinner, and Pepin is helping to determine the amount of insulin that Molly needs based on the delicious dinner they will have. In the next series, Molly and Pepin will solve other cases. They hope you will follow them. <laughs>